Oh, hello again, everybody. This is Shush on with Shush Gaming, Angry Gorilla Gamer, back on on the Spirit Guy channel, and we're gonna cover uh, another little video on, on on our games for our, our old systems. Here we're going to look at the Nintendo 64 games. Here we see, uh, if you notice, you can see Spirit Guy uh, banging away. Here's Spirit Guy. On my favorite Star Wars game besides Battlefront 2. On one of his favorite Star Wars games, except for Battlefront 2, he says this this would be the 64 Star Wars Racer, the pod racing game, and he's uh, he's crashing through everything to get it done. Here, if we look over at our floor display, we can see our 64 games displayed out on the floor, and we will go through these here in just a second. We don't have all of our box, all of our boxes anymore, like Super Nintendo. But here, well, let's take a look see. One moment. First of all, one of the basic games, one of the uh, intro, intro games for your 64, the Pilot Wings 64, where you fly around Pilot Wings Island with all your goofy things. Did that come with Nintendo 64? Uh, it pretty much did. They came with some of them, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was, and it was a game that everybody had. It was a, a, a primary game. We no longer have our Mario 64. Uh, but we do have Mario Kart 64. We don't have any other of the Mario or Donkey Kong games for our 64. We could get more. They can be a little expensive and hard to get sometimes nowadays. That's Mario Kart 64. Here, gentle people, is the box for Star Wars Racer. The game is. Um, the game is. As you see, the game is in the system. This is Star Wars Racer, the, the fetching box for Star Wars Racer. Feel the force, 600 miles per hour. And this. The sequel for PlayStation. And we also have we also have the uh, Racer. And what Spirit Guy was about to say about the sequel to this? Yeah, it's not. A, it's, the sequel's not as good as this one. No, that's true. We do Star have the PS2 uh, Racer. We'll cover that in our PS2 Star Wars games. But this, Which includes PlayStation. This is the superior product. I just here, passed the here we have some more of our 64 Star Wars games. This would be Star Wars Shadows of the Empire with Dash, Dash Rag, Rag, Ragnar. Ragnar. This is based on the book and, and graphic novel of the events between Empire Strikes Back and the return of the Jedi witness also our fetching instruction booklet. Oh, so many photos of shadows, shadows of the Empire. We also have, excuse me, we also have the classic, the classic flying game, Star Wars Rogue, Rogue Squadron. Uh, oh, very first big game to use the expansion pack. Very, uh, very famous Star Wars game. There's Mark Hamill. Luke, Mark Luke, Hamill Luke Skywalker. His, Mark Hamill has his face on a box. He has his face on a box. He must be like Wheaties. And here is that booklet for Rogue Squadron. Rogue Squadron. That's a classic game. We do have the, one more Star Wars game for the 64, and that is Battle for Naboo. The Battle for Naboo. This is, okay is, this is an underrated game. Hardly anybody knows it. It's a good game, but lots of uh, driving around and speeders and flying the blue fighters, and it's pretty good. It's not too bad. Speaking of driving and kind of flying around and racing like Colin's doing, is your grandpa's grandpa's favorite one of his favorite 64 games at F Zero X. Kicks it up a couple notches from the original F Zero, which is yeah. a, uh, which we have on on the Super Nintendo. This is a very excellent game. You can build your own tracks. You can randomly create tracks. And there's one I call the Joker. On the tracks. Oh, the Joker, the Joker like yeah. Tubes. Here we go. Uh, here is a, uh, an anthology game in Namco Museum 64. That has, as you can see, the Pac-Man games and Galaga, Diggy Dug. Diggy Dug Grandpa likes to play his Diggy Dug and Gal Galaxies. And that's, so that is a game we have. We do have a couple of sports games for our 64. We have a Ken, one of the one of the myriad of Ken Griffey games from the era, Ken Griffey Jr.'s Sluggy Fest baseball that. game. I used to play that. 
Oh, Spierka used to play it. Yeah. And here we have uh, here we have somebody's used NBA hang time, which is a little bit like uh, NBA Jam and NBA Street for other systems. And here we have our our NFL NFL Blitz NFL Blitchy in the, in the box. In the box. Classic, uh, classic arcade style, uh, wonky football. Very good, very good for all the all the kids. Okay then, and racers continuing, and here we have, oh, and we don't know what happened to our box on this one, the uh, the, uh, the the Nintendo 64 South Park game. Oh. Uh, the South Park game. Shh. Uh, this is here. Colin's been playing that, but don't tell anybody. Okay. And this, well, um, this, one what? Thing about South Park, um, Grandpa has the poster up at his work. Um, for yes. That game. You should take it home. Well, that came with the original box. Yeah. The first time I had it, but then I got rid of the game probably with the box, and then we got it again for a couple of bucks for you to play. And there's a poster at Grandpa's work. There's a poster at my work. Yes. Here's a game that we covered a little bit on Angry Gorilla Gamer. This is the Mission Impossibles. And it it freezed up, which is probably the good news because it, it is it is very difficult. Well, you know, it is it's just it's a bit difficult. Here we have a classic game that Grandpa doesn't know what happened to his original copy of, so we don't have the box anymore. But here, of course, he has GoldenEye sixty four. Yeah, um, Pierce the, has a monkey face on the box. He might have a bit of a monkey face. Uh, this is, of course, the one of the most famous sixty four games. One of the most famous James Bond games. One of the most famous video games. It's a classic game. Great two players. Shoes likes to play it even without his thumbs. And we do have the other uh, for our 64. We do have the the, the plot is not enough. Just, just better than the PlayStation one. This is better than the PlayStation one. They are radically different, unlike. And there's some games that are on both. We're on both systems, and you look at them, and they're not that different. But World is Not Enough is very different in its 64 yeah, it's and PS. Like right. Yeah. Although, in fairness, the PlayStation game is not as bad as a lot of other PlayStation games are. So it has to be said. I never died in the last PlayStation James Bond game. Probably it is. Yeah. Well, we'll look at that when we look at all of our PlayStation and PS2 James Bond games here in a shoot video soon. And, uh, yeah, so, oh, here, here it is, I am shoot. That is, that is our, our 64 games. Uh, we're not, I don't know what we're looking for in 64, except maybe some of those Mario and Donkey Kong games, but they're pricey. Um, uh, so there it is. And, uh, so we'll see you again, uh, flipping around with, with the gorillas. And uh, we're going to do some more videos soon on our video collections. And so there's Spirit Guy still banging away at Racer. Go, Spirit Guy. Yay, Spirit Guy. Say goodnight, Gracie. Goodnight, Gracie. I'm first place. Okay. Oh, first place. He's a winner. Bye-bye now. It's Shush.